Hi, my name's Sarah and I'm a fourth year student on the BSc Theoretical Physics programme. Hi, my name is Ruthu and I'm a final year physics and music student. Hi, I'm Annabelle and I'm a third year student on the MPhys Physics programme. Today we're taking you on a tour of the School of Physics and Astronomy in the James Clark Maxwell Building. This is the main lecture theatre in JCMB. You'll be here from second year onwards as classes in first year take place in the central campus. In first and second year, you'll have one to two lectures a day and this will increase in junior honours. Lectures are 50 minutes long and are a mix of PowerPoints and blackboard juice with the use of interactive apps such as Top Hat, which facilitates discussion and allows the lecture to be interactive with you asking and answering questions from the lecturer. Here we are in the electronics lab where as part of the programming and data analysis course in second year we learn how to build basic electronics using breadboards and use these for data analysis. Further as part of the data acquisition and handling course in fourth year which is compulsory for all pure physics students but optional for all students in other programs within physics. We learn how to expand on these concepts that we taught in electronics, build more complicated breadboards and use them for data acquisition and handling. So right here we have an oscilloscope, a signal generator and a Raspberry Pi module which you can hook up to a breadboard, connect to a computer and use for data acquisition and reading. Right here I have a lab book which we will be using in every year to record data, record observations, and learn how to write up lab reports. So here we are in a tutorial room. Tutorials are once a week, and this is where you get to do problem sheets and apply the material you learned the week before. And you can work here with your friends and with other peers to try and help each other understand the material. And there's also teaching assistants, which are postgraduate students, who are here to answer your questions and help you with the problems that you struggle with. This is the Magnet Cafe in JCMB. There's lots of space where you can study or hang out and have a break between lectures. You can get hot or cold food, teas and coffees and some snacks as well. Here we are at the computing lab where all the programming courses take place. All these computers are loaded with scientific Linux. Uh, in the second year, it's compulsory for all physics students to take an introductory course in Python. And in future years, you have the option of taking courses in computer modeling, simulation, and quantum computing. Lab sessions usually last three hours, but you can access these labs anytime and work on your projects. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts in this building, and I spend a lot of time here. So right here, we're on the third year common room. All third years, fourth years, and fifth years have their own common room, which is really useful because at that time, you spend a lot of time in JCMB. So you can work on the computers, which have all the relevant software on it. You have a lot of space to just do your work in your break time. And then you can also have lunch and snacks, which you can store in the fridge or heat up in the microwave. And we even have our own hot water tap where you can just have some tea and coffee in your break. This is one of the Junior Honours Experimental Lab Rooms. All students in their first and second years do labs, apart from those studying mathematical physics. You'll do three hours of labs a week, and you'll do lab books and lab reports. The labs become more advanced in your junior honour years. In your third and fourth year, you'll do six hours a week compared to the three in your first years, and you'll be assessed via your lab books and lab reports. 